Hi everybody, welcome back to another video on Dibble's Love. Sorry I haven't been posting that much, I take these long breaks because of plans or school, but I'm back and in the capybara outfit with Carrot today, and we will be exploring the different types of scams that are seen in Wild Horse Islands that can be harmful to certain users. In this video, I will bring notice to these scams so you guys don't fall for them and hopefully so scammers don't do them anymore. A lot of people are victims of scams in both real life and in Wild Horse Islands. Scamming is a way to gain horses or resources from other people in an unethical way. If any scammers are watching this video, I want you to put yourself in other people's shoes and understand what impact scamming has on other people. It's very harmful and it's super mean. However, people in Wild Horse Islands, even if they're not scamming, need to be aware of scams and not fall for them. This video will bring recognition to scams so hopefully you guys can stay safe in game and keep the horses that you want to keep. I don't want any of you guys to go through scams as they can be very hurtful, but hopefully this video helps you recognize these scams, these different types of scams, and allows you to stay safe while playing the game and avoid scammers. The first scam I'm going to show you guys today is the breeding scam. This is the one I most commonly see in game and usually occurs when a new update, with new horses, or special breeding outcomes comes out. Scammers will likely say something like this. ABC if I can breed your horse. These people will act like they want to use your horse to breed it with their horse so they can get a certain coat on a certain breed, but they end up stealing the horse they gave you by leaving the game after the trade. Do not fall for this, and if you are someone that does this, don't do it. It's extremely rude and very unkind. Another scam I want to bring notice to is the trust trade. ABC to trust trade. If you don't know what trust trading is, it's performing two separate trades that's kind of like fake i guess i'll do an example so let's say i was offering for someone's pumpkin pertron and i told them my offer over chat and they say okay i accept so you go to do the trade and you put all your stuff in but they don't put the pumpkin perch in so they're just like okay um, we're gonna do this trade and the next trade I'll give you the pumpkin perch So essentially you accept the trade and you give them all your horses without getting anything in return and they ultimately just leave the game and Steal all your horses They don't give you that pumpkin perch back That's the whole trust trade thing this is the better way to get better horses from someone. If you're doing the breeding scam, you can only get cross codes from someone. But if you're doing the trust trade, you can get events, dies, IUHs even. And it's just very hurtful if someone falls for that. I know what it feels like. It, it's very painful to go through that. Be careful and don't fall for it. The next scam is what I like to call the training scam. This scam is quite similar to the breeding scam, and I don't see it that often actually. People might say, ABC if you need your horse trained, or ABC if I can train your horse for you. Then you give them the horse because you want it trained and you might not have enough money, and do the trade and they take it from you. And they just leave the game. They don't train it for you. They might train it and then just never give it back. They just leave the game and you never get that horse back. Or horses. It could be multiple. You never know. 
beware of this scam and do not fall for it. You can lose some very valuable stuff. The next scam is what I like to call the role-playing scam. This scam is pretty common too. One person might ask if they can use your horse for a role play, so you trade it to them, hoping they'll give it back and they just leave the game. It's as simple as that. Sometimes, if they're an authentic person, they will give it back. And sometimes they won't. Sometimes you'll forget that you gave them the horse, and they also forget. But it's important to recognize these scams and even if you think they are being legit there is a good possibility they are not being legit so just don't trust any of these as for the other ones and just be careful you don't don't give people your horses for role playing it's a very dangerous scam abc if i can have free horses i got scam I call this scam the scammed scam. A person might act like they got scammed and will be begging people for their horses because, you know, you feel bad for them. You're just like, oh, they got scammed. I'm going to give them, like, some of my best horses because, you know, I feel bad and stuff. Don't do that. Some people do actually get scammed and are asking for horses. That isn't a nice thing to do, but you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. But other times there are people that didn't actually get scammed and are scammers themselves saying they got scammed so that they can get some free horses. Don't fall for that. It's very very bad. Hopefully this video brings notice to the different types of scams that are seen in Wild Horse Islands. I'm hoping that this makes Wild Horse Islands a safer place and if you guys play other games like Adopt Me or trading games really, it helps keep those games more safe as well. It helps the community stay afloat and yeah. Scammers need to understand that this is very hurtful to people. What they do to people in real life and in the game, it's not, it's not good. Have some empathy. However, people who are being scammed need to recognize these scams so they don't fall for it. It's half your fault and half the scammer's fault. Understand that scams are present, you need to be aware of them, and don't fall for them. Even if you think it's really like a legit trust trade and like they're actually going to give you a horse back, just don't do it, just to be safe. Don't do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and feel free to suggest video ideas down below. I'm always open to suggestions and feedback hopefully we can get some new videos coming out soon and yeah let me know what you guys want and i'll do it for you i will see you guys in the next video or next community post maybe i'm not sure yet see ya